Come here, dude. Hang on. Hang on. Oh boy, find him. So hard to believe, but young Rass is not so young anymore and turning into quite the young man and young man tracker. Uh, we're on day 47 of training and we're doing some island hopping exercises with surface transitions, working into a little bit of contamination and some distractions. Okay, so one of the things that's happening right now is Raz is just beginning to deviate from that straight track line and he's alternating directions to travel a little bit and his head's starting to come up somewhat. And what's, what's happening is he's encountering his first hard turn that's supposed to be here to the left and gravitating to where all the blown odor is and the moisture and in this uh, vegetation right here. But you can tell by the behavior that he is not on track. This is hunting behavior. He might have had some odor there in the corner, but this is not odor. You're going to see when he picks it up again. Um, and what will happen a lot of times is dogs will circle around back to the general area where they lost the track in and then pick it up again. So he picks it up right here. So why are we getting this confluence of odor? Well, it's because you got a lot of productive source right here, good green vegetation, and the turn turns hard left right here to an island on your left. So you got a lot of big blown odor right there. It takes him a little while to find it. And then he picks it up right here and your island hopping begins. Now look, look how he details your step off point right here. This is exactly what we want him to do in the island hopping. By detailing the step off points this way, he begins to learn how to work some of that contact odor uh, that's on the hard surface. And he just worked up that contact odor on the tall bushes. You could tell how he was sniffing it. So working the uh, islands really, really well and also getting odor on the ground. This is why we do these island hopping exercises. It teaches them to detail. Here's another part where he overshoots the odor just a little bit. And um, we have actually have the, the turn to the left relatively hard. And he's getting stuck in some of the blown odor here in this intersection. This happens a lot. And honestly, you have to let it allow it to happen. He needs to make mistakes and then repair them on his own in order to learn from them. If you, uh, if you ground him down to a track line and make him commit to what you perceive to be the track, a lot of times what will happen is the dog will uh, then just begin to be influenced by your line guidance. And we don't want that. We want him to act freely at all times. So this island hopping exercises is something that teaches him to detail the hard surface, but more importantly, where to find odor and productive sources. The other thing it does is it allows him to be able to make some mistakes and then recover easy enough because you have productive source usually pretty close to where uh, the blown turns might be. This is important from the self-discovery process and learning how to do this stuff on his own without your help. That is absolutely essential for a dog that can be a free tracking dog. So overall, really wonderful work. I like the time of night because it eases down the distractions and the contamination. Let's continue with locations just like this, with distances just like this. Um, and I like how you alternated directions so it was never just a straight line and we had some turns on uh, some of the islands. So great work. Let's do a couple more of these in a similar type of situation. Now your distance was also really good too. Um, you don't need to work much more. What we want to do is keep these relatively short and simple. High energy, high drive, high value that he gets a lot of, uh, of uh, good fun and reward with. So wonderful track. Let's do it again.